Hello everybody, Tom Morley here from FOSS 365 where we use free open source software 365 days a year. I got some good news. It's alive! It looks like um, Natron is not dead. There's been a lot of activity around it and um, we've got a new version coming out. As a matter of fact, I've created this um, Natron It's Alive screen using the new version. The new version is version 2.3.15. It's in a pre-release, so I'm testing it out and finding out where the bugs and uh, kind of smashing the bugs. Uh, one of the nice things I like about this is um, a lot of bug fixes and the plugins, the GMIC plugins, got a lot of love. It updated to GMIC 2.6.7 and the GMIC plugins seem to work extremely fast. In the past I used the open uh, GLSL plugins a lot more than I used the GMIC plugins just because the GMIC plugins were so slow but they appear to be um, ramped up and they are blazingly fast so um, I've been messing with those. I have to thank uh, Devin Ray here for picking up the mantle and starting to uh, code on the core version or the core of uh, Natron. So he's he's primarily responsible for the new version coming in, coming out. There's a Linux version and there's a Mac version. The Windows version is not ready yet, but hopefully by the time you see this video or within a couple of days, the um, Windows version will be available as well. So. Grab a copy if you've got Windows or Mac and uh, start reporting the bugs and let's um, let's get this version cleaned up so that we can get 2.3.15 out and um, the re final release version. Now, <clears throat> Frederick Devon Ray is not the only person that's kicking butt on Natron, okay, as far as programming. We also have... Um, We also have Fabrice Fernandez here that's just lighting up the Natron programs group with a whole bunch of new Python scripts that you can use with uh, Natron as well. I'll put a link to all of these things down below. Um, so you can go to the um, GitHub and you can just read the instructions here. I, I might do a follow-up video on these Python scripts because there's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, um, he created a bunch of um, Python scripts to help with um, creating a postage stamp from any node, uh, generating a tractor, uh, tracker out of a roto node, generating roto out of selected tracker nodes, um, batch rename nodes, just a whole bunch of um, Python tools that will come in handy. Also, some things that were missing in, in Natron he kind of filled the gap with creating a couple of um, full circle rotos, uh, clips, squares. So now we've got the the shapes that you would expect in a lot of the other com compositors are in Natron now, um, as well as some times and some other ut uh, utilities. I haven't had time to look at them all. He's just been on fire. And um, these have been created in the last couple of weeks. I mean, he's he really has gone crazy as well so i'll do a follow-up video on these nat natron python scripts especially the roto nodes i think they're going to come in really handy all right so i'm just i'm really pumped that um that natron's not dead it's alive we're going to get a new version here very shortly after we smash all the bugs and uh you know the community's alive and well we just can't cre keep on creating all kinds of tools, utilities, and uh, new new great things. So it's, uh, it's a good time to be FOSS, you know. Uh, I'm glad to see that Natron hasn't kind of fallen into the FOSS graveyard, and uh, we're going to see more of it. All right, just, just a little bit of news for you this time, and uh, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hit the like button, um, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.